everybody and welcome to this video where I'm gonna get a bunch of shit for calling out a bunch of white chicks okay so here's the deal I went over this in my um, podcast the upcoming podcast which will probably be up later today and I went into some detail about it and gave you a lot of the backstory shit but I know how people watch YouTube and I know a lot of you aren't gonna watch a 35 minute video just to hear some important fucking information. So I'm going to try to make this short and sweet for you guys. If you are a writer, if you are a white Caucasian writer, male or female, although I see this a lot more with the females, but here, I mean, I guess non-binary could be thrown in here too. I'm not trying to leave anybody out. I'm just, I'm, I'm talking to the white folk, okay? Here's the deal. I have been hearing a lot of shade being thrown at successful white writers. The shade is being thrown from not successful white writers. Again, mainly female. A lot of this bitch is about the fact that publishing companies are pushing and still signing white writers to big deals, okay? And a lot of these other unsuccessful white writers are mad and the, usually what they come out with first to show their anger is that you don't get a lot of diversity if you're only giving book deals to white writers. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you, if you really feel like this, if you really truly feel like this, the first question in this challenge is, if you were given a book deal by a big publisher because you are white, would you turn that book deal down? Would you say, oh, you know what? Uh, to make everything more diverse, I think you should not give me the book deal and give it to this other person over here. Not that you would have the power to do that, but let's say if you want to make a statement. Are you willing to throw your dreams away? Are you willing to take your career and throw it in the toilet to put your money where your mouth is? Because my guess is that you won't do that. My guess is that you're bitching about it now and you feel comfortable bitching about it by saying it's a diversity thing. Because if that same deal was offered to you, you would take it in a fucking heartbeat. So that makes you a hypocrite and kind of a piece of shit. Especially the fact that you're fucking using fucking diversity as a reason to like make other writers who are being successful feel like shit. But at the same time, you would do the exact same fucking thing. So that makes you kind of a shittier person than the fucking publishing house who offered that white person the deal in the first place. Okay. That's, that's fucking disgusting. If you are really worried about diversity and you really are worried about which voices are getting heard and which voices have the ability to get heard. Here's, here's the next part of the challenge. Are you willing to throw your writing career away right now? This minute, are you willing to walk away from writing and move into being an agent or move into being an editor? to make sure that those marginalized voices get heard because you just existing is taking a spot away from somebody else. So if this matters that much to you, are you willing to throw your dreams away to help other dreams come true? Because if the answer is no, shut the fuck up. Nobody fucking cares. Nobody wants to hear it. You're a fucking liar and just fucking go on with your day. If you want to be a writer, that's fine. Be a writer, but don't shit on other people who have success and blame it 
not not on the fact that you're jealous or envious that they got a fucking writing gig, but you're trying to fucking hide and say that it's because of fucking diversity. If you gave a shit, you would do something about it. Dude, so many of these rant videos comes back to me saying, if you're pissed, do something about it. And no one ever fucking does. Everyone just likes to sit and run their fucking mouth, dude. It's fucking ridiculous. And this is me waiting a day on this. This is me fucking, like, chillaxing. And so I don't come in here guns blazing, okay? But at the end of the day, this is what it is. You're a fucking liar. And if you really want to fucking do something, then fucking do something to help. If you're not going to do that, shut your fucking mouth. So with that said, everybody, keep buying my books. Type hard for those of you who still want to be writers. And if you are a white girl, just fucking either be a writer or don't. Okay? So I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.